Hello, um, so I am speaking from the Church of All Life and this is where we do the homily and I would like to let you know that we have um, Jesus here but also God and they have come together um, which is um, very exciting to, to have them both here together. And God would like to speak first um, because he feels that he has something important to say right at the beginning of this, this sermon. He says that he has observed Gail um, throughout the time that she has been doing this work and is very proud to say that she has reached a position where she understands much about our world and much about my intentions for all of you on the earth plane. And he says that because of this knowledge that she now has, he feels that he, um, the time has come for the church of all life to be in a more public position and he is going to be organising this from his world that the, the public will be able to come and see Gail and witness what she is doing rather than just on the computer. And he hopes that it will be videoed, recorded um, for all those people that are unable to come along to the events that he is organising. But he wishes to make this announcement that this is going to be happening in the not too distant future. He also wishes to say that he is very proud not only of, of Gail, but also of all her guides, the Holy Spirit and the Son, Jesus, because they work very hard in helping the many people that are um, looking for guidance, looking for help and looking for love because this is my aim with all the work that I am doing with Gail. It's to give my love to all of you. And I do this through my son and the Holy Spirit. And I feel that if I can give you love or give you guidance or give you help when you are in your hour of need, then I feel that you will come to a similar understanding that Gail is at with regards to my kingdom. But now I have important words also to, to add to my talk. And these important words are, when I was a very, very young God, I had a dream and this dream was that I would create a human race, a race that would be kind and loving to each other. And I told myself, surely this is going to take a long time because any race that is in, the, in its infancy and in the beginning will always take time to grow and mature. But I knew that this was worth it. It was worth creating all of man. And so I went about organizing, as you know, the story of Adam and Eve, and I created Adam. Adam, was the first man that lived on the earth. And he was very, very vocal about how he felt about his existence. And he would often come to me and say to, to me, why have you done this? What is this over here? He was a very, very inquisitive. And I enjoyed his intelligent mind and enjoyed answering all of his questions. 
But then I soon realized, in order to create the race of the human race, I needed a, a woman to come and be by Adam's side. And so, as you all know, I created Eve. And Eve became this wonderful soul that I love very dearly. And she would often come to me and say to me that she had a great love for myself and for Adam. And they would often look up to the sky and say to myself, God, when are you next coming to visit us? For we wish to see you because we miss you for you haven't been today. And when I heard these words, I would say to myself, this is adorable. And I would immediately come and visit both Adam and Eve. And of course, you know the story about the apple and the serpent. And things didn't go to plan. But I knew that I couldn't turn my back on mankind. And I knew that I had to help man survive and thrive. I knew that I had to help man understand all the elements of love and to be courageous in the world that I was giving to them. And so the beginning of time with man on the earth took place. Now, when I look back at this time, I am extremely proud of all that has been created. And I realize that if I had not have created man, then there would be something very, very deeply missing in my life. Because man has given me the greatest, greatest love and enjoyment. I consider some of the Holy Spirit in my world that reside in my heavenly quarters, some of my greatest, dearest friends, and I love them greatly, all of them. Now, there is a new world that is about to be created. And the world that I am creating is not dissimilar to the earth that you are residing upon. It is a world that is purely for evolved souls. For those people that have learnt everything that they need to learn on earth and they need to go to their next stage of existence. This new existence that is being prepared for man is an existence that is going to be quite unusual. When you are living on the earth, you will all know people that perhaps are not living in the light. Perhaps they are cruel or show to people their negative side of their character. But in this new existence, man will be free of that negativity and they will learn how to be giving and loving in an increased way. I believe that if man can conquer this new way of living, then there will be hope for the people 
who live on the earth. Once they have reached a point where they are understanding of what I am teaching them, their next role will be to go back to the earth and speak to those people about what they have learned and what they understand, showing people this new way of being, educating people and being a shining example to all. This new way of living, it is my wish, will not only take place imminently, but it will also be taking place in a way where all of mankind will grow to this point. And I believe that once mankind has reached this point of understanding and love and compassion in the way that I desire, I believe that we will all exist in a different way. We will not have the pain and the suffering that has existed for throughout all these centuries of time, since the beginning of time when I created Adam and Eve. In fact, I believe that man will enjoy life, will be happy and feel love all around them. There will not be the negativity. There will only be good and only be light. And this is the man that I wished to create all those years ago. But sadly, it's taken time for man to reach the point that I desired for man. But now we are ready to make this shift. I believe that this shift will be the greatest shift that man has made in its entirety, in all of its existence. The shift is happening now and the shift will go on for the next few decades. And then when this time has reached where all people have an understanding, I will look to live amongst all of mankind. I will be close to all of you and there will be no separation for the worlds will merge as one and we will live together in harmony and love. This is what I have decided and what will be happening for the future of all existence and all of mankind. I thank you for listening to my words and understanding that I have not only created all of life, but devoted my existence to helping man reach this point. We are now at this tipping point where we will eventually be the race that I wish to create. And I believe when all of mankind reach this point, the happiness, the joy, the lack of disease, the health, the love, and the excitement, and all of the good qualities that comes alongside the light will be there for all of you. The difficulties of life of the past will be firmly in the past. The light will surround you all and you will have the existence that you have always yearned for, desired and craved. This is your time to take this step forward as I 
put my arms around you all and steer you in the direction of love. I thank you for listening and I thank Gail for helping me in the work that I am doing. Thank you.